Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. Sports Center. If you are a fan of old school basketball, then you are on the right channel. If you're a fan of sports, period, then you're on the right channel. But specifically for this video, old school basketball, you're on the right channel. So I ran across this video and I was like, man, you know what? It's a, I got the opportunity for a Jordan LeBron debate. So I was like, let me go ahead and react to this video. So as you can see by the title, man, this is Skip Bayless. I didn't even know Skip Bayless had his own YouTube channel. But I guess somebody asked him, could Michael Jordan beat the teams that LeBron lost to in the finals? And I'm curious to see what's going to be said in this video. So y'all already know how we do it over here. We ain't going to do too much talking. We're going to go in and get it popping. Eric from Naperville, Illinois, just outside Chicago. Oh, speaking of Jordan, that's a good question. Does Jordan beat the six teams LeBron lost to in the finals? Very interesting. Okay, so let's take them quickly one at a time. My answer might surprise you here. I am a San Antonio Spurs fan from way back, from the Iceman Bourbon days into the Tim Duncan era. Spurs were at their apex 2007 with Tim, Tony, and Manu. And of course, they rolled into the NBA Finals against LeBron James, baby LeBron, and those Cavaliers. And LeBron didn't come close to winning a single game. Now, granted, here's the thing. This was the San Antonio Spurs versus LeBron James because he was with the Cavaliers at that time. If you go look at that roster and that, that, that chart, that starting lineup, you will say, how did he get to the finals? And when you go look at that lineup, you say, how was he expected to beat them with this? So... If you ask me, could Michael Jordan have beat that Spurs? Absolutely. Could Michael Jordan have beat the Mavericks? Absolutely. Could Michael Jordan have beat, who else did they lose to? Spurs. Well, who else did LeBron lost to? Spurs, Magic, Mel, Spurs, um, Mavericks. Um, he lost to the Spurs twice. Uh, Golden State. So wait, hold up. So the six NBA Finals teams LeBron lost to, Mavericks, Spurs, Golden State. Who else did he play in the finals? I thought it was. They beat OKC. I don't know. They confused. They confusing me on that. Well, I thought LeBron. I'm trying to think. I remember him losing to the Spurs. That's what Stephen. That's what Skip Bayless talking about. I remember the Spurs. Uh, I think it was the Mavericks after that. Uh, because he lost to the Spurs twice. Then he lost to Golden State. So. I'm trying to figure out who other teams he lose to in the finals. They got me stuck on that one. I guess it reminded me a bit of Michael Jordan, baby Jordan, in 1986 in his first playoff appearance, against his first Bird. round against the Boston Celtics. Remember this? Game one at Boston Garden. Mm -hmm. Overtime, double overtime, mm -hmm. if memory serves. Yep, they lost. The yeah. Bulls did. Yep, they eventually got swept by an all-time great Celtics team. Pete it would have been a great match for <laughs> my Spurs in 07. But what did Larry Bird say after game one? After they survived game one? That was God disguised as Michael Jordan. Larry knew what was coming. Hell hath no fury like a Michael Jordan scorned in the first round of the playoffs. Larry knew what was about to happen to the NBA. That Bulls team, it, it, it had some other player, Orlando Woolridge. What? 
Um, in fact, speaking of Ice Gurman, he was in his final year of his career on that team, didn't play much or contribute much. Sidney Green was on that team. Who is these people? Gene Banks. Who is these people? NCAA Final Four Championship Game Fame was on that team. That look, check this out. Charles Wait. Oakley was actually a rookie on that team. But check this out. That's almost like like hearing them names and no disrespect to any of them guys, but I, I've never heard any of these guys be spoken about when in terms of when you're talking about solid players from that era. Never heard them. But the same thing can be said when you go look at that LeBron team that made it to the finals and got swept by the Spurs. Like how many, I, I think, who he had? Is it, uh, is it Julius Sagalskis? I think it was Daniel Booby Gibson. I think it was Mo Williams. Um, them the only people I really can remember. And I only remember them because of 2K10. It ain't because they was impactful players. I just remember them from a video game. But, you know, come on. But that was the equivalent of LeBron's Cavalier Going team against the Spurs. to the Spurs and the I got Finals. You. I'm with you on so that here's one. my point about it. I don't think Michael, with that 86 team, could have beaten the 07 Spurs. In a seven game not. series. But you know what I do believe? Michael would have won at least two games. At least two games, if not three. First year in Miami against Dallas, the 11, 2011 finals, up two games to one. If you gave Michael Jeffrey Jordan a two games to one lead on that Mavericks team, I don't care who his teammates were, but if you gave him his is Heedle's kind of teammates. If you gave him Pippen and Kukoc, Ron Harper, they cakewalk. They obliterate and annihilate. They win that series easily going away. They, they win it in five games. Spurs, 2014. I mean, my thing is this too. Like, they beat LeBron and company by... We got to understand one thing as well. Like, so... It's only so much that LeBron can do or Jordan can do, right? What happens if LeBron has an off game? Somebody else has to step up. So LeBron can't make up the differences from what from his aspect and then trying to do everybody else's job. Score points for them. Play defense for them. That he can't, it's only so much that he can do. Winning the championship, it takes a team effort. It ain't just one person. It takes a team. If you go back and look at the Bulls from those years, you look at the John Paxton shot. You look at the um, the Steve Kerr shot. You look at um, uh, Scotty Pippen being so vital and you know be, being able to slow down the best um, scoring option on the opposing team. It's a team effort. If Scotty Pippen don't play defense the way Scotty Pippen play defense, whoever is on the other team going for 30, 40. You see what I'm saying? If John Paxton don't make those, that shot, Bulls lose. Steve Kerr don't make, I don't say a lose, but, you know, it, it, it's like a 50-50. Steve Kerr don't make that shot. It's a 50-50. So it's a team effort. It ain't just LeBron or it ain't just Jordan. It's a team. We have to do it collectively. So I don't think that that's necessarily a knock on LeBron because of LeBron. If LeBron, prime example, go back to the year, um, the, the year when they played, the second year they played the Warriors in the finals when they had KD, right? LeBron went for 55 points. I think LeBron had a triple-double. If not, it was close to a triple-double. And they still lost that game. And why? And what's one of the reasons why they lost the game? JR fumbled the bag. He runs off with the ball. Is that a knock against LeBron? Because JR had a, a brain collapse? Like, come on, man. A record finals margin in five games. There is no way Jordan would have allowed that to happen. And again, if you take the 98 Bulls with Pippen and Kukoc and Ron Harper, Steve Kerr, and of course, Dennis Rodman doing the dirty work, manning the back. Dennis boys, Rodman too, forgot about him. From below the rim. If you took that team coached by Phil Jackson, they could have beaten the 2014 Spurs. That team, not the, the 86 Bulls, but that the 98 Bulls, they would have beaten the Spurs in 2014. They just would have. Then that brings me to the Warriors. Before they were really the Warriors, 2015 finals, LeBron played the greatest three games I've ever seen him play, back to back to back. They're up two games to one in his house. Game four was in his house. If you put Jordan in that circumstance, it's lights out for the Warriors. But they didn't take it out. 
I do distinctively remember Kyrie getting hurt. So now the guy who was cooking Curry gets hurt because he was putting it on Curry. He gets hurt. Now, guess what? It's just LeBron for the most part. I think Kevin Love ended up getting hurt eventually, too. Now, I don't know the severity of his injury, but I know Kyrie was going for the season with that injury. But they, now you're saying, okay, he, LeBron supposed to make up the difference for him and Kyrie because the replacement that's coming in for Kyrie ain't Kyrie. You see what I'm saying? Like, it was, what, what was it? Matthew Dellavedova? So it's like, come on, are you going to get the same productivity in terms of offensively that you got from Kyrie with him? Absolutely not. So now more of it falls on LeBron. So it's like I'm trying to make sense of the things because, like I told you guys, I, you know, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of sports. You know what I mean? I'm not biased on anything that I say. And I, I, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to make sense because it seems like it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an attack, but we're not being elaborative about what the situation was. You know what I mean? Like you're just you're like saying, you know, you take the, the, um, the, 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 the Bulls and – Playing the ninety, the eighty six Celtics. Obviously, at that time, you got damn right that the um, they couldn't beat the Celtics. You know what I mean? Like, look at the team that you name. You can't even name half of them people. Same thing if you're going back to the Spurs. You know what I mean? When LeBron played them, hit um, when he got them to the, the, the finals that year, and they got swept. He playing with a team full of, and I don't want to make it sound like that, but no names. So it's like, come on, make it realistic. Give him a team that can compete, and then let's have this this debate or these conversations. You know what I mean? Kevin Durant yet. They weren't sure who they were just yet. They had to insert Iguodala into the starting lineup to flip the game on its head because he guarded LeBron and he scored on LeBron. I mean, basketball and that skill. the end of that. It's basketball skill. Jordan yeah. wins that series. Jordan had been scored on skill. Then, of course... KD joins forces with Steph, Draymond, and Clay. The Justice League. After they flew as a group all the way to the tip of Long Island, July the 3rd. Justice League. To get down on bended knee and beg Kevin Durant to come save them. If you give me the 98 Bulls, they win that series that LeBron could not win. What's wrong with KD? And definitely, if you gave me the 98 Bulls, against Kevin Durant the second year, 2018, game one, remember that? And if Michael Jordan wins game one in Oakland, look out game two, and then look out below Golden State, he wins that series. Again, give me the 98 Bulls with a reasonable team around them. I hope you enjoyed that video. So I'm going to piggyback off of this, right? Skip says you go back to the game one. And that's the same thing I was saying the second year they played. Was it LeBron's fault they lost that game? Did LeBron not do his job? Did LeBron not show up that game one? And JR has a brain fart and runs off with the ball. And that just deterred all motivation. You drop 50 something, 55 points thinking you finna go home with the win in the bag. On the road at that. that. Skip. You know me, I'm a Jordan fan. I love Jordan. But I mean, bro, it, it's gonna be hard to beat that 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 Warriors team. It, it is. I'm not saying that they can't win any games, but in a game, a seven-game series, and I do want to do a breakdown of this because I was talking with a guy at work, and me and him was talking about that the other day. And I was like, dude, I kind of wanna I wanna do a video like kind of just breaking it down and just seeing what I could look at and say, okay, this what would have had to happen in order for them to be able to come out victorious or to even have a shot because that team right there and the fact that LeBron was expected to beat that Warriors team, those two, especially the second year. The first year still it was bull crap, but at the same time, he still had Kyrie. Second year, LeBron didn't have Kyrie. So he's going up against, it's basically LeBron going up against Curry, Clay, KD, Draymond, Boogie, all these, like, come on. Then you got Iguodala coming off the bench. Sean Livingston coming off the bench. And these ain't no names I'm naming, just naming it be for the sake of naming them. These are people who were actually contenders, you know, like good bomb players coming off the bench that were solid players throughout that whole run, that, that dynasty they had going on. You know what I mean? But Skip, I, it's like anything when it comes to LeBron with Skip is going to be biased, it's going to be shade, it's going to be hate, and you kind of understand that. But, you know, 
I don't know. But as you guys can see, man, it is into this video. If you did enjoy this video, do me a big, 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 big favor, man. Smash that thumbs up button. Also, man, right here and right here, this is my most recent video. And this is the video that's going to be recommended based off of your guys' search history. I recommend you check out both of them because both of them are bangers, man. But stay tuned because just like I always say, like the Goat Drizzy Drake, man, I got these videos coming back to back. I'll see you all in the next video.